Good morning. It is Wednesday, January 2nd, 2013. Welcome to News 10 Today. Outrage is growing in India this morning over sexual violence. It's crunch time for Governor Snyder. He has until the end of today to decide if he'll sign into law nearly 200 bills lawmakers passed in the lame duck session. Michigan Supreme Court Justice Diane Hathaway has now been charged with bank fraud. Police are on the search for five men. All are suspected in the attack. This is lot 34 where it happened. It's on the edge of campus and is a fairly high traffic area. I've heard a lot of people joking today that the Camaro is their new favorite car and not because they want to buy one. Check it out. It is a beauty, but even better. It's a beauty that means jobs. Now we don't know how many, but if you consider what the Cadillac ATS brought, we could be talking hundreds. The superintendent says there will definitely be some disciplinary action filed against all involved in this. That craft beers looks like a roller coaster at Cedar Point. Man, this weather is <laughs> going to feel like a roller coaster too. Drivers also need to be wary. Deer are on the run in October and November and can pop out suddenly from the sides of the road. Get ready for flag line streets and happy faces in Howell today. More than 150 Michigan Army National Guard soldiers are coming home. Being a New Year's baby, you're kind of guaranteed a party on your birthday. You most certainly are. And uh, any party in our weather? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Our weather kind of very similar to what we had yesterday. Albino deer like this sheet of paper really jump out from the landscape, but they are in luck. Under Wisconsin law, they cannot be hunted. Wall Street has reached a milestone we haven't seen in years. While the increase will hit pocketbooks, economists say the reality is Americans spend very little disposable income on food. <laughs> Where developing nations may spend 25, even 50 percent of their income, we spend less than 10. Some people measure life's big moments in pictures. Don Gorski does it with Big Macs. You know, I met Mary at 1,146 Big Macs. You know, we got married at 2,025 Big Macs. It's stuff like that that sticks in my head. Then. The 57-year-old first tasted the two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun 39 years ago. He liked it so much he ate nine and never stopped. We just yell back to the kitchen, start dropping Mac buns. Don's here. The Fond du Lac man averages two Big Macs a day. And since 1972, he's only gone eight days without eating one. First Big Mac was the best one I ever had in my life, and it's like I had to eat them from then on, you know. To the tune of 25,000, Gorski celebrated the milestone on the anniversary of eating his first. A sizable crowd watched in awe. Where does he put it all? I mean, like, he's skinny. Gorski admits his affinity for the burger is a bit of an obsession. He keeps count with calendars, stores the empty boxes in the attic, and can pull out nearly every receipt. I mean, I'm, I'm compulsive counting stuff, and it's just like, holy mackerel, I'm 25,000 already, but it did take 39 years. So The retired prison guard knows some worry for his health even his sanity, but he claims he's got a fast metabolism. Why not eat his favorite food every day? One time I asked him, and don't you ever get sick of him? You know, once in a while, I'll eat one upside down. It tastes different, he said. So how does a man top 25,000 Big Macs, perhaps a record in French fries or milkshakes? Well, Gorski wants none of that. Just keep going, 25,001, 25,002, you know. 50,000 may be out of reach, but Gorski says he'll enjoy the tasty ride. Bite by bite. In Fond du Lac, Lindsay Baramis, Fox 11 News. It was both a divided and angry house. The lawmakers passed controversial right to work legislation. We saw a lot of politics out of the other side. If you talk about the issues, and if you talk about the focus, the focus is on Michigan workers. The focus is on the future of our state. Democrats knew they couldn't stop the two bills, one for public workers, the other for private but tried to stall. The people of Michigan deserve to be heard. They introduced amendments, delivered lengthy speeches, and pleaded for reconsideration. The public has never seen this bill, and we should all be objecting to this bill. But there was no stopping Right to Work's move toward law. When the vote came, Democrats erupted. Yeah, the Republicans who voted yes on this, and the governor, 
are going to be held to account at the ballot box ultimately in 2014. They plan to withhold votes on other measures and ask Governor Snyder to veto money tied to the right to work bills. That would allow a possible referendum. You heard a robust debate on this floor, a passionate debate. We're going to continue to honor that debate. Now if the other side chooses to walk away from working on things together, that's their political decision. While this round was a fight Democrats knew they couldn't win, they and unions are vowing to take the next one. And if the governor thinks that uh, today's passage of this is going to end the debate on this, he is dead wrong. In Lansing, Lindsay Baramis, News 10. After surviving the massive crash that closed southbound 41 for more than six hours, Melinda Pulser can't help but count the what ifs. You know, if Phoebe had been there, if we hadn't moved over, my, she would have died. It was that bad. The Oshkosh woman was driving a Ford Explorer with her three-year-old in the back seat when her world spun. Polster says she was traveling directly behind the woman most seriously injured in the crash. But, you know, you first you hear the sound and you don't really realize what it is. And then you realize that every part of you hurts. The state patrol says she and others were lucky. Most of the injured were treated and released. This could have been a mass casualty situation with numerous people killed. You know, Highway 41 is a 65 mile an hour zone. And as you well know, oftentimes people are going much faster than that. The state patrol says construction here at 41 and Capitol cost a backup just north of Richmond Street. Southbound traffic was slowing down, but investigators say a semi didn't. Holster saw it all in her rearview mirror. I started to tap my brakes to let him know, hey, we're slowing down up here. And I realized he wasn't slowing down at all. So I thought, well, I better move over in case he hits. And I, I no sooner got over in the left lane and he clipped my the corner and just smashed and it was like a chain reaction. Investigators are still trying to figure out the exact sequence of collisions. Troopers will be reconstructing the crash, but say a final report could take weeks, even months. You have to be fully aware because that split second, you know, if I hadn't moved. Polster hopes it's a lesson for all drivers. In Appleton, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News.